Hey everyone, you're with Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, in today's video, I just wanted to uh, go through a zero to 100 kilometer an hour time for our 2019 Tesla Model 3 Performance, uh, which is what I'm sitting in right now. Uh, it's now three and a half years old. And when new, uh, the specs for this car were uh, zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.4 seconds. Uh, that's what it says on evdatabase.org, which is one of my favorite websites. And uh, the tires that we're running on for this test are on 19 inch 235 40 uh, Huncooked tires, 19 inch. And um, for this test, I'll be using this product called Racebox, Racebox Mini. Uh, well, the brand is Racebox, and this particular product is Racebox Mini. There's now a Mini S, uh, which I'll go through the differences in a second. But uh, it comes in a box like this. So that's the box there, Racebox Mini. And uh, apart from the box itself and also the product, uh, you also get uh, different ways to mount this uh, box and uh, so I use this one this particular way this is like this uh, sort of sticky jelly material that uh, doesn't leave a residue on your car which is what I'll be using for this test um, but you can also mount it with uh, velcro like that with 3m tape on either side if you want to take it on and off um, I think this is magnetic as well another magnetic way to mount it and the actual unit itself can be mounted with this, you know, screwy type thing you can use for tripods that you can mount onto your car. And then it also has a USB-C port there as well. So apparently the battery standby time is um, a whole year if you don't charge it. Uh, but in terms of using it on the, on the road, if you want to time yourself uh, or for whatever reason on the track or just time lapse, uh, then there's a standby time or usage time of 24 hours uh, for this Racebox Mini. Uh, charging time is three hours. Uh, it's a lithium-ion phosphate battery, 1100 milliamp hours. It's pretty good, 106 grams, so very small. It stays in my hand like that, it's in the palm of my hand. And by the way, I didn't get this free. This is a paid product, so no endorsement at all. I just paid for it with my own money. Uh, 199 US dollars, 10% um, off if you subscribe to their mailing list. And uh, you can also buy from Amazon for 299 Australian dollars as well. Uh, and the best thing about this product is that it's 25 hertz, so 25 cycles per second. Um, so it's fairly accurate, I would think. This one pairs with your phone, so it gives you quite good reports as well. I'll go through that, of course, after the test. Um, there's also a Mini S, which is a new product for pre-order at the time of this video, which doesn't require pairing to the phone. Good for, I guess, motorcycles. Uh, you don't have to look at the phone while you're racing or while you're uh, timing laps uh, or drag times. All right, so like I said, we went out to test how fast this car is three and a half years later, and this is what happened. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was quick. Oh. Oh yeah, that was quick. <laughs> 3 3.42. 3 3.42. 3.42. That's insane, bro. That's insane. Okay, so as you saw, uh, pretty impressive uh, time there. Uh, 3.42 seconds. Um, and yeah, pretty quick, I must say. Uh, even despite the battery not being 100% state of charge uh, and the tires aren't brand new. And this is a three and a half year old Tesla Model 3 performance. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, pretty much on spec with uh, what it was brand new. Very impressive. And speaking of impressive, I'm going to go through the Racebox app. And uh, this is what it looks like here uh, for the uh, session. All right, so uh, only the best results for each discipline in each run are shown. Additional results can be accessed from the menu in the top right corner. So yeah, so this, obviously, if you do multiple runs, then it gives you the best times. I only did one run, so therefore only one uh, one time for uh, this whole run. I've got one foot rollout on, uh, for those who don't know what that means. Uh, I guess pre-digital timing era, um, the timing of the car for a drag time only started when the front wheels crossed the line, the timing line. Uh, I guess that's the average distance between the front of the car and the front wheels. I guess now with the GPS timing, that's not quite as relevant. This is more for historical purposes. Um, you can have the setting of this app on or off. I've had the one foot rollout on which meant that I got a time of 3.42 seconds for 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. I assume the original Tesla timing for this car was also with a one foot rollout on. Obviously, it's a bit slower with it off. 
and uh, the best in run one for zero to 60 kilometers an hour, 1.81 seconds, distance of 18 minutes to reach that speed, and then uh, zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.42 seconds, and it took 56 meters to reach that uh, top speed. Now, I didn't go as fast as 200 kilometers an hour, I'm not uh, game enough to do that. And GPS accuracy, 21.05 meters, and there were 16 satellites helping to triangulate my location. So like I said, that's pretty impressive. Okay, so let's start with um, zero to 100 kilometers an hour, uh, with some more stats there and there you can see a comparison of uh, the green line which is the g-force meter uh, the blue line which is the altitude and then the red line is the uh, speed we reached in this test as you can see it's pretty linear for that red line uh, it's pretty much a one straight line that's what electric vehicles are known for that linear acceleration and the g-force um, you can see there i'll just press the g-force line so uh, g-force was pretty much constant 0 0.85 uh, g's and it sort of dropped down back down to sort of 0.5 g's towards the end of the test and altitude we dropped by one meter throughout that uh, distance there so there we go so distance uh, was 185 at the beginning and then sorry 186 at the beginning sorry and then we became 185 meters at the end there and then this time was also corrected for slope so uh, minus 0.9 percent uh, decrease in altitude as you can see in the blue line and the corrected time is 3.46 seconds if you allow for that uh, drop in elevation. And looking at zero to 60 kilometers an hour stats there, so uh, the altitude was fairly similar for that uh, zero to 60 time. Again, acceleration was linear and the g-force was fairly constant at 0 0.85 uh, increase there during that acceleration test. Uh, slope corrected was 1.86, it allowed for a minus 2.2% uh, elevation change. And still pretty quick though, 1.86 seconds from 0 to 60 kilometers an hour. It really is a, a traffic light uh, beta. It's just an amaz amazing piece of technology, this Tesla Model 3 performance. All right, so looking at the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour time again, let's have a look at some more details here. And uh, the app can tell you, there you go, the first line is 3.42 seconds, as we said, max G4 0.87 Gs. Uh, weather today was 21 degrees, 31% uh, uh, humidity, weather conditions provided by weatherapi.com real-time data. Barometric pressure is read from your phone's sensor. Mm. Density altitude is computed from that information for physical altitude of 186 meters. And then there you go, it sort of breaks it down into the different uh, brackets there. Zero to 10 kilometers an hour in 0.17 seconds, uh, zero to 20 in 0.5 seconds, and then zero to 30, 0 0.8, zero to 40, 1.15, zero to 50, 1.47, 0 to 61.81, 0 to 72.14, 0 to 8, 2.49, and 0 to 92.91. That's incredibly quick. And then if you've got, I guess, multiple runs, I only did one run, like I said, but if you had multiple runs, then you can compare the two uh, side by side like that. So that's pretty nifty uh, information there from the app. All right, so everyone, that's the Racebox Mini uh, used in our Tesla Model 3 uh, performance from 2019, now three and a half years old. Got a uh, 0 to 100 km an hour time in 3.42 seconds, pretty much close to spec what it was uh, when it was brand new with a 70% battery uh, on old tyres, 19 inch performance tyres, performance rims and um, yeah so if you are really interested in how fast your car is whether it be Tesla or otherwise uh, I certainly do recommend this product like I said I bought this myself, uh, not a paid endorsement at all by any means uh, really amazing piece of technology paired by, by Bluetooth with your phone uh, it spits out incredible data and produces a very good report. So highly recommended, 199 US dollars or 299 Australian dollars from Amazon. 10% uh, discount if you buy from the website, if you subscribe to the mailing list. Uh, and yeah, it lasts a whole year without charging or 24 hours on the track or all day testing. And it pairs very quickly. Uh, within a second, the phone spots this and uh, hooks onto it. Uh, and you've got to calibrate it, obviously. Uh, that's what these mounts are for. Try and keep it level. Um, and once you calibrate it, then you're pretty much good to go. It's very easy to use, very user-friendly, and a great uh, companion for anyone who's interested in how fast your car goes. All right, everyone, this is Tom from Ludicrous Feed. You've been watching me test the Tesla Model 3 performance. Until next time, happy charging.